Hi everyone, it's Emilia here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I want to show you how to make four Miran flowers, which looks like this one here. I have created those flowers today morning and I thought it would be a good idea to to share a video. So I've got those flowers in two sizes, the big one and uh, a bit smaller one. Hope you can see it well. And these are very, very easy to make. So I am using my own dies, Lady E Design, Flower 001. And I'm using those two sizes, the biggest one in the set and, and a smaller uh, than the biggest in the set. So for one flower, for the smaller flower, I'm using two smaller layers and one big. For the bigger flowers, flowers two smaller and three bigs, big layers. <clears throat> and I'm using Famiran from 14 Craft Bar. It's 0 0.6 millimeter, very, very thin. And it's very uh, soft, stretchy. So if you are looking for Famiran, just check the thickness before you buy. Because you want to buy 0 0.6 millimeter. You don't want to buy 0 0.8 because it's uh, difficult to, to shape it. So I will apply the color on uh, my flowers. With, so it's, it's an ink. I've got a mint one, um, and I will do it on both sides. Actually, I wanted to do the turquoise. Let me check if I've got the turquoise. Um, maybe I will take the turquoise one. Will be more visible, I guess. So I'm adding that ink and you don't have to worry too much about, uh, you know, doing it very even or uh, or very, very um, precise because while you're uh, rolling the flowers, the ink will mix with the foam and, you know, it will look good. And you can in use any ink, you can use oil pastels or you can use dry pastels. You can also use uh, Distress Crayons, so anything you've got at home, you don't have to buy, <coughs> you know, stuff especially for your flowers. So, so yeah, so I'm coloring those uh, two or three petals on each layer, and uh, I like when the flowers are, you know, colored like on one side only, so... I mean on one side like one is blue and the other one is is white. I usually do not color the whole flower only on the edges. So when we've got that, we will have to roll the petals. Okay. So I start with the smaller one. So I'm what I want to do. I'm just going to grab the edge of the petal and roll it, and repeat that for each petal in the each layer. So I do it separately, as you can see, one petal at a time. I hope the camera stays in focus because um. I cannot see it, so I hope it is good. So when I've got that, I will use that bow just to, with those two fingers, I am pushing the foam into the ball. Okay, and I've got something like that. So I have to repeat the same uh, steps for all the layers focus only on the top of the petal because we want the top to be nice and uh, wrinkled and the uh, middle of the petal nice and smooth of 
for the uh, those balls are also available in a 14 craft bar and also many many other products for flower making for me run in many many colors so you may want to check it out the shop is based in Ireland but they ship worldwide so that's very very good and um, uh, my dice well I haven't finished my website yet unfortunately I'm doing it by myself that's why it takes so long because um, I'm traveling with the workshops and the moment a lot and um, that's why I don't have much time for the bigger uh, layer I'm using the bigger ball so yeah so my dies are available in a uh, few stores already and I uh, have a list of those uh, stores on my Facebook page I will link it below the video so if you would like to uh, see where you can find them just go to my Facebook page and find the post I will pin that post to the top of the page I guess and then it will be updated on my website when the website is ready which I hope it will be in like a um, few weeks time I don't know it's just take me ages to to do it okay so we've got the second layer and we need a third one You could roll the whole flower, the whole whole layer, like fold those petals together. But I find it easier, and I find the better result when I when I do it separately. Okay. Um. Let me check. I hope it is in focus because I did the video last time and it was out of focus all the time. So I couldn't even publish it. Okay. So we've got the second one, okay? Uh, third one. So now um, I will start sticking it together. Well, before that you can also push the flower into a foam pad. I mean each layer. So it will bring those petals a bit up. Okay, and for we need some berry or something like with a ball on the um, top, something to have inside our flower. And I'm going to use that berry, which I don't like orange very much, so I'm not using them a lot. So I will just push that through in the center, add a dot of a glue, and secure that on the bottom. Okay. So then I'm going to apply a glue on that berry on one side and cover my foam like that. Okay, so on both sides. Then I apply a glue on the foam and on the berry and do the same with the second petal and what we have to do we go round we add a dot of a glue on the foam on the berry and just you can see that petals are overlapping each other I hold it on the bottom and wait for glue to dry Okay. I don't want to see that orange berry so I'm going to add a dot of a glue on the top and just stick the foam together and last one here so this is our first layer Okay, I can still see the oh gosh, those 
strings drives me crazy. I can still see the berry, so I do need to add a dot of a glow inside and just stick that together. Okay, that's better. So we add second layer now, the same way. What I uh, only want to do here, I will try to keep color on one side of the flower. So add a dot of a glow on the bottom and then very near the bottom and go around with those petals. Wait for glue to dry before you stick <coughs> another petal. So I'm just doing that. Hold with my finger. Very near the bottom. Okay, fourth one. And the last one. So you could leave it like that and have a, uh, how you call it, oh, forgot that word. Um, but yeah, it's a, like a flower bud. But I'm going to, uh, like when I add the third layer, it will be something like that. Okay, so I, I, I'm adding the third layer now. The same way. Oh, that's not the middle. Just try to keep the keep the flower in the middle. So just secure the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. And then again, add a glue very near the the bottom here because we want those petals to open more. So we only sticking it very very near the bottom tiny dot of a glow and the petals are overlapping just slightly now or like they very near maybe not even overlapping very near uh, each other I hope you can see that well so I'm just holding it here and wait for glue to dry So when we want to have that smaller flower, that will be it. Just sticking uh, this, the third layer. Oh, so you see, it's it's really really cute. But if you want to do the bigger flower we are adding two more layers now okay so those two but before we add them i want to roll the top of the petals back a bit so to do that i'm just doing the movement like that oh sorry i will try to um focus the camera oh it's shaking so something like that okay just a little bit it may be uh, difficult at the beginning but then you will find it easy and you can also use the bow again just to give it a better shape okay and we will stick it to our flower now so again Add a dot of a glow on the bottom first. And so now we'll try to not overlap those bigger petals with the smaller one. So they like goes goes in those gaps between the petals. And we will secure it the same way. Very, very near the bottom. That's really, really easy. This is all what you need to do here. 
stick it on the bottom or each layer actually okay so you could leave it like that but I would like to add one more layer the same with petals rolled back I hope you will create similar flowers and I hope you like them and if you do please tag me on social media I love to see see it and I love to comment on your projects because it's it's just amazing what you create watching my videos and it's a fantastic re uh, reward for me so again just adding the glue on the bottom trying not to overlap the petals with previous layer that's it let me just secure it on the other side and we've got the flower ready oh it they moved a little bit okay I hope you like it it's really really lovely so you know now how you can create those two sizes flowers look they're really really nice and I hope sorry my camera went off well I think the memory was full so um, yeah so I have deleted a few videos and I'm um, sure be okay now but that's the end of my video thank you very very much uh, for watching if you have any questions please write it in the comment below the video and have a lovely day take care Bye-bye.